All right, so we have our body mounts on the car. That's going to help stiffen it up. We have our suspension. Obviously, a lot of stiffening going on there, which makes the car really fun to drive. However, forward. <laughs> yes, forward. The problem you're going to have with this girl right now is it has manual brakes. Yeah. You took that out and tried to do any sort of performance driving. Now, get going. You might be able to do that. Get to stopping. <laughs> Not a chance. Right. So we hooked up with the friends at Master Power Brakes for yes. a complete. This is their rally series disc brake conversion kit. Yeah, man, and we love it. Their attention to detail, all the things they have, one of the things right out of the gate is regardless if you have drum brakes, which a lot of these cars came with, or the disc brakes, if you're lucky, you still use the same spindle. So a lot of times on other kits, you have to remove the spindle, get new ones. No, they incorporate the old spindle into the mix. So that's a bonus in itself. One less thing to buy, one less part to put on. Yeah, right? man, and you got a 6061 billet aluminum, all right, caliper, yeah. four pistons, Loving it, and along with the bracketry, again, built aluminum, anodized black, so you're not gonna see all that oxidation and so forth, you got fine. Yeah, what I really like is just when everything is machined that tightly, it yes. all goes together super nice. It's that attention to detail. Right, man. Now over here on the rotor side, we've got a nice drilled, slotted, and directionally vented rotor. Yes. And what's cool about it, look inside, comes yeah. pre-packed with premium bearings ready to bolt on, which is fantastic. Amen on that. And you move over to the booster itself. Now again, this car has manual brakes, man. We're gonna upgrade it to a power booster. Our friends at Master Power Brakes, they did something great. They have a bell crank back here and it eliminates that angle that you see a lot of times when you pop the hood on these first-gen Camaros. And you don't have to drill for the pedal ratio, right? And the pedal preference down here, it's all incorporated in this guy right back here. And again, man, every Everything needed to make this conversion simple and easy. Stainless steel lines, you get a box with all your brackets, your brass fittings and so forth for lines. Really top-notch sort of kit you get from Master Power Brakes. We yeah. like it. So we're going to start getting this lower section on. We'll work our way up top and get this guy in, so stick around with us. All right, one thing we've done is upgraded our wheel studs. Now these are ARP, we're big fans of theirs. What's nice about the extra strength is we also get this little dog point on here. And that's just great for ease of throwing your wheel on and getting the nuts started. So you don't have to worry about messing up those first threads, cross threading or anything. Okay, so the bottom of our brakes, all good to go. The rotors, calipers, lines, all ready. Now we're gonna tack up here, which will be the brake booster. We're gonna take a quick break. When we get back, brake job will be buttoned up, and finally, some stopping power. Poof, put your face in the dash, all right? Back in minutes. 